So the biggest question that we always get is, hey, how do I go from this to this to this? Now, honestly, obviously this is kibble. This is kibble enhanced, and then this is a full-on raw meal that I prep for Nala as well too. Now, mind you, this also looks a little bit different than what Trev typically feeds his dogs in terms of a full raw meal. Now, why is that? Because all dogs are different, okay? It's not one size fits all. So when people are hitting us up constantly, hey man, how do I switch to this? It's not that simple. Mind you, like these bowls all look somewhat different. This bowl is different than this bowl. This bowl is different than this bowl. And this bowl is definitely different than this bowl. And they're all different than this bowl. Now, why is that? This right here is cooked food. This is for Maya. Like I said, it's not one size fits all. Maya doesn't have the gut biome or support to support um, raw food. I'll show how blowouts. I know some dogs have allergies to whether it be chicken or beef or whatever. So they're like, hey, my dog can't eat chicken. What else can I feed it? Or my dog can't eat beef. What else can I feed it? All dogs are different, which is why if you want to transition your dog from kibble to raw, remember, it's not one size fits all. So you actually have to go through a process yourself, just like we all had to, in terms of doing your research. And what is research is not only just reading about it, it's not just watching videos about it, it's also taking the knowledge and applying it and then seeing what works best for your dog. What our dogs eat and what our dogs do are gonna be different from what your dogs eat and what your dogs do. So you're gonna to have to go through a process, starting from here, adding a little bit, see how your dog responds, and then adding a little bit more, see how your dog responds. And it's a whole process, mind you. The transition process takes on average anywhere from about 14 days plus, depending on how your dog responds to the food. So mind you, it's not like, hey, just add this and add this and add this. You know, a dog might not respond to a turkey neck as well as it would chicken or vice versa. So make sure if you want to go through this process, you got to do your research. And research, like I said, again, is not just reading about it and watching videos about it. You actually have to take the knowledge and go apply it and see what's best for your dog. Stay tuned, people. Take care of your dogs. If you want to transition from kibble to raw, know that it's a process. And as always, just remember this. Just do your best. Take care of your dogs.